these two portable solar generators look very similar and they are both model S2401 however the one on the left is a cheap one and the one on the right is the expensive one they are both branded either Soiree or Bowden the one on the left has the handle side to side whereas the one on the right has the handle from front to back so these are both UK spec the one on the left from Amazon the price was $169.99 but on the day there was a £40 voucher so it made it £129.99 the one on the right the price is $199.99 but there was a £20 voucher off so the one on the right was £179.99 so there's a difference of 50 UK pounds sterling between the left one and the right one. Now I've already made an unboxing and review video of the one on the right and I'll put a link in the description. So this is a review of the one on the left. They have different specifications. They both have LIFEPO4 batteries which is lithium ion phosphate and they're both a capacity of 240 watt hours but the cheaper one on the left only has a lifetime of 2000 plus cycles to 80 percent and the one on the right has a lifetime of 3500 cycles plus to 80 percent the cheaper one on the left can run alternating current off the inverter 230 volts 50 hertz up to 150 watt maximum for whatever device you're powering whereas the one on the right can do the same but run up to 200 watts the one on the right, the expensive one, has a pure sine wave inverter. The one on the left, the cheaper one, has a modified sine wave inverter. This means that the one on the left, with its modified sine wave inverter, won't run certain things, like things with electric motors that don't go through an additional power supply. This is the unboxing of the Bowden's portable power generator or solar generator model S2401 So we have an instruction book and a thank you and warranty card On the right we have three buttons, the power button at the top, the button in the middle is the AC button, alternating current from an inverter. The button at the bottom is for that light. On the left we have the QC quick charge 3.0, in the middle we have the USB the lower socket is a type C USB. In the middle we have two 12 volt out sockets, one input charging socket which can charge via the inbuilt MPPT controller. 
So let's switch it on. So long press the power button. So the unit is about 60% charged. Each one of those bars is 20%. The next button, the AC button, that switches on the mains voltage, alternating current, 230 volts at 50 hertz. And the temperature display is the temperature of the battery. The bottom button is for that light. Twelve LEDs. A long press of that button can dim it or or brighten it. Uh, it's not gone nice and dim. Coming up brighter again. Another press gives you flashing. Another press gives you SOS. And another press gives you this warning light. Using the mains charger, I'm now charging the Bowden solar generator. So let's have a look at the package contents. So we have the mains power adapter, a cigarette lighter adapter, which is used to charge this unit from the cigarette lighter socket of your car. A cigarette lighter female socket which plugs into the 12 volt output of this unit to power your 12 volt items that have a cigarette lighter plug on them. The DC MC4 solar charging cable so you can connect this unit to a solar panel and charge from there with its inbuilt MPPT controller and a USB type C cable. So these are the product specifications. The battery cell types are LIFEPO4 which are lithium ion phosphate the capacity is 240 watt hours. The life cycle is 2000 cycles to 80% capacity, which means that you can charge it and discharge it 2000 times and it'll still be 80% capacity. These are the output ports. USB ports, two 12 volt out ports, an AC port, UK spec 230 volts 50 hertz, 150 watts max, and the charging input port. So you can charge it from a solar panel using its built-in MPPT technology or from the AC mains adapter from your electricity supply or from your cigarette lighter socket in your car. It's quite happy charging this Android phone.
So this unit is quite happy running this 32 inch Sony smart television. Modified sine wave output. This product generates modified sine wave which is compatible with AC electric appliances that work with sinusoidal waveform power less than 150 watts. Electronic appliances that use an AC motor aren't going to work to full capacity on a modified sine wave and noises may sound as a result. For long term use appliances that use AC motors and some Delicate medical equipment will be better off with a pure sine wave inverter. The more expensive S2401 has the pure sine wave output. But this cheaper version has the modified sine wave output. This one can only do a maximum of 150 watts on alternating current. Whereas the more expensive one can do 200 watts. But the real difference is that this cheaper one has a modified sine wave. Whereas the more expensive one has a pure sine wave. However this unit most definitely has its uses. I'm not quite sure why they've called both of these models S2401 as they are different, different in price, different in specification, different in abilities. So now we'll just test the 12 volt outports. So I've got a meter display here in volts and the cigarette lighter socket so push one into the other um, this is a 12 volt out socket 13.2 volts try the other side Thirteen point two volts. This is my camper van, the Volkswagen Transporter T four. This unit will fit very nicely under the bed. I hope you enjoyed the review of the Bowden's S2401 solar generator. Thanks for watching.